A project can contain multiple roofs. In our example project we will now add a polygonal roof on the main building. Make sure that the correct floor layer is active in our project viewer on the right side. In our example the second upper floor. Start the polygonal roof function and follow the exterior contour of your building with left mouse clicks. Zoom in and out with your mouse wheel in order to see the details of your floor plan. When you have all the necessary points press enter or finish the input function in our context menu. The roof property dialog opens automatically and shows a first draft of your roof with standard settings in our 3D preview. Close the dialog with OK and insert the roof in your project as a first step. As you can see roofs cut all the walls, floors, and ceilings of a building automatically. Open the roof dialog again and start editing the roof sides. In this 3D preview you can select the sides you want to edit with a left mouse click. The software automatically activates the corresponding property page. First we want to create the three gable sides. Choose the type of the roof side from the list. Transfer the cladding material from one of the other roofs or drop one from our textures catalog. Now we change the pitch of the remaining sides. Edit one side of your roof and then transfer its properties to others, just because it is faster. Depending on the roof and floor height it can be that you see a gap at your gable sides. In this case you have two options to close it. Increase the floor height to any value reaching at least up to the ridge. In this case the rooms in your upper floor show no ceiling. Or create another floor above to close the gap. An attic in our example. Copy the second upper floor in our example and transfer only the walls, floors, and ceilings. You can move the entire roof up and down on the general settings page. Each roof side can have its own height. Select and delete parts of the timber construction if necessary in our professional packages.
The height of a roof side as shown in the dialogue is measured from the floor level in which the roof has been inserted and describes the value to the upper edge of the rafters along the polygon side. You can easily measure this height in a section view and see if the position is correct or if you need to measure an offset to move the roof up or down afterwards. In our professional packages you have additional 2D drawing options for a roof. These options are properties of the 2D view and not of the roof itself. A lean-to roof as shown in our example project consists of three gable sides with an overhang set to zero where the lean-to roof is connected to the main building.